Welcome to the Jerry Graves channel. It's a channel that talks about narcissists. I want to go ahead and jump straight into the topic. But first, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let's jump into it. All right, so in this video, I want to talk about a topic that's very important that nobody talks about. And it's something that I call tribal neglect. This is something that people don't generally talk about because everybody has been trained to think certain ways like you, you you're supposed to be worried about you and your family or just worry about yourself you know and we're, we're taught that from childhood to the point where we, we don't even think about our the fact that we live in a tribe you know this whole world's kind of a tribe you know just by the fact that we are connected to each other and we live in a society that's interdependent even if they are a person who lives in a different country or so if you're a, a black person they're gonna say that you're you're not a part of the, their tribe you know even though you are a part of their tribe and the the white supremacists that is and just in general living in a city or living in a living around people like in a town and stuff like that I've noticed that they've cut black people out of what they're supposed to get like literally you are supposed to get things for your work you're not supposed to just get just what you you produce and just the money that you get there's benefits to living in a society and this is where i get to the point of tribal neglect like the people that run society which is the white supremacists collectively have decided to, ne to neglect black people just in general and a lot of the information I just told you about, I'm saying in my own words, but a lot of it I got from a book called The Wealth of Nations. And it breaks down how society works, basically, from an economic sense. There's literally a contract between people to do these things so that you can have extra stuff. And it produces things like that. And then especially when you're talking about black Americans who've worked for free you know had our labor stolen and we're able to produce even more because now you're working for even longer than regular working hours and all the other people are benefiting from it but us and they're still doing that till this day they're cutting us out of the extra benefits that's created from everybody's labor collectively all right so that's how that that works that's a way of having tribal neglect and it's wrong and it's something that we have to correct now the next level is the a smaller tribe which is foundational black americans the people that are descended from slavery from north america and also are indigenous to this land they're the native americans which is we we're the native americans there was black native americans and they were thrown into slavery with african and africans that were brought over here and they were mixed together and we, we started our own ethnicity, you know, and we're forced into it. But uh, and we also have some Mongolian Native American mixed in there as well, which is what most people are familiar with, the Mongolian type of Native American. But uh, so this group of people, because we have been promised so much from the society, we don't do all the stuff that we can do to empower ourselves as individuals and uh that ends up being like we're, we're just a really weak tribe you know when you're in a tribe you're supposed to want to be the best type of tribe member as you can so that you can bring more value to your tribe so that you can you know you want to be the best hunter so you can bring more food to your tribe not just for yourself but more food for the whole tribe you want to you know in everything that you do you're doing it for that but since black americans don't even think they have a tribe we haven't we don't even have that concept or that mindset and so it, it ends up where we're neglecting each other tribal neglect now that's that's what we're really the reason why a lot of us die young is because we neglect each other. We have the tribal neglect. We're getting the neglect from the white supremacists who run the larger society. And then we're neglecting each other because we're not trying to learn anything. 
we're not learning anything we're not reading any books we're not trying to be the best we can be in any given situation we're not saying the things we're supposed to say we're not doing anything right a great member of a tribe needs to be intelligent they need to be able to observe the other members of their tribe and help to solve problems and see things that their younger members or the people just in general can't see themselves you shouldn't be walking around with all these types of problems and and stuff like that and nobody says anything to you a lot of the problems that you can you have is strictly because of the lack of information that's what causes a lot of problems that's the reason why a lot of black people can't get rich etc is because we don't have the information required to get rich most of us are capable of making good decisions not all the time do we do it but we could so if we had all that best information on how to make money you damn right would be rich but we don't have accurate information so the fact that everybody around you doesn't collect accurate information they're not trying to to stay up to date they're they're not trying to observe you and look at for the problems in society and trying to help and things like that a lot of people end up dying that they wouldn't have died you know so a lot of us think that yeah uh this isn't my fault i shouldn't believe that i i'm at fault for somebody else dying and stuff like that but we get those feelings of guilt because it's true like we end up participating in the deaths of members in our society and our tribe because we neglect them and so i want to end this off with a story about that it's really quick though i knew a guy when i was really young in middle school who basically he uh me and him didn't get along i didn't talk to him a lot right or whatever so anyway long story short he he like he would move kind of weird like he he looked like he was supposed to be stronger than what he was like his body his body shape stuff like that he looked like he was supposed to be strong but i could tell that he wasn't as strong as he's supposed to be or he couldn't move as fast like he'd be playing a sport and he's not moving as quickly and i've noticed that other black people would notice that they would say that but not all it wasn't it didn't jump out at us or scream out at us but here and there I would hear another black person kind of notice it but nobody said anything you know apparently because he didn't get treatment for whatever was going on with him you know and I, I know that if we noticed it as children adults could have noticed it but they weren't looking they're not being good tribes men and women you know and so 10 years later he dies of cancer and everybody noticed it or a lot of people did notice it I, I don't believe that all these adults didn't notice it and I know there was black people that noticed it and didn't say anything and that's an example of tribal neglect and it, there's no excuse if you're an adult and you see stuff like that you should be smart enough it's not being smart enough isn't an excuse there's information online you should be smart enough to, to know but people will sit up there and they don't say anything and then people die and I know a lot of stories like this I know you, you've seen things like this but I'm not going to keep going so basically work on that try to be the best tribes man or woman you could be if you're FBA you learn as much as you can you observe the other people in the tribe you try to be up to date with information you don't sit around and talk about titties all day knowing that people are in a dire strait that's all i got for you peace